Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to be putting together the floor lamp with table lampara di pi con meza. Meza? Maza? Anyway, this is the Maystays uh, Walmart gotten Amazon boughten uh, side table with glass to make your house look amazing and with uh, added on light. So uh, I'm going to put this together just in case you guys need to have help or lost the instructions or don't understand the instructions. So uh, let's do it. All right, so I just got everything out of the box, and this is what you have. You've got uh, over here the stands and the feet, and it's all attached to the wire that will eventually go up to the lamp. Then you've got the two circly doohickeys. Your instruction manual also has uh, the Allen wrench and your screws in there. And this is obviously the glass, and that is your lampshade and lampshade attachy thing. So I'm going to take this all out of the package and pretty much keep it just like this and separated. So let me do that. Okay, now that everything is out of the package, first thing I'm going to do is grab this circle stand thing. And this is how it's going to be positioned. You're going to have all of your gooey little flat pieces on here that eventually the uh, glass is going to go on to. And this is what the position is going to look like for this one. It's going to be on top and not down on the bottom. So it's going to be facing up like this, and then we're going to grab our four legs. And when you take a look at these legs, there's one side that's flat like that, and also has a little hole. This little hole is going to these right here on the outside. So it's going to be like this with the hole facing in towards this. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a second once I get it screwed in. And it's going to look just like that. So it's being faced on the outside, and you're putting the screws in. You can lay it down, make it easier on yourself, and do it like that. Or put them in through that and put the screw upside down. Whatever works for you. But you're going to put in all of them like that, all four of them. And you're just going to snug them down. Don't tighten them up just yet, because we still have to put the bottom circle around, and you don't want to loosen these up just so you can move the bottom to go back up to the top and tighten them. So uh, this is pretty much all the equipment, just because I haven't shown it yet, but uh, the Allen wrench and the screws, you're gonna have one left over just because they're nice and they give you one. So don't freak out if you're missing one at the very end. So let's put these together. So if you're looking at this, you can tell that the, uh, the area that these screws go into are not perfect circles, they're actually little slits. So go ahead, Stand your table upright like this, and it's going to be a little wobbly because I told you guys not to tighten it up, so it's like a little newborn deer all wobbly and whatnot. So, like I was saying, just because they're little slits, um, when you do snug them up, make sure that they're either every one of them is snug when they're all the way up or all the way down. See how those move? So, just a little note. Okay, so the next thing we need is this second circly guy, and it's going to be faced the same way as the one on top, where these little smushy little pancake guys are going to be on top for the glass that's going to be laying on it, and if for some reason you guys don't have it, the circles are on the bottom and not on the top. So you're going to put the top piece onto these, or you can lay it onto the side, whatever works, and then you're going to screw these through the bottom up into the threaded portion on these. So it's going to be just like this, where you have the threaded portion is going to go inside here, and then the inside has a threaded area. Probably can't see it on the camera, but it's going to go through here, and then they're going to be push together and it's going to be threaded in like that and go ahead and tighten down each and every one of these and once these are nice and tightened down then you can go back up to here and make sure these are nice and tight and congratulations you have a stand now we can go over to our glass and get the one ugh, without the hole this one 
and you can grab this one and place it in here. Beautiful. Now we can work on the top. First thing I'm going to do is put the shade together. So this is what the shade is going to look like, nice and collapsed for shipping. So this is what it's going to look like when it's nice and opened up. So we're going to flip it over, and all of these little pins are going to come up to whichever one is closest to it. So this pin is going to go straight down to that hole. But we have to push all of these pins in, all these rods in first. So whichever one's closest up, we'll get that. And the next one, and the next one. And eventually, they will all be generally pushed in. So for this one, I'm going to stretch it out and push it underneath, and it'll click into place. And just turn it and go through all of these and do the same thing. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit because this is going to be very taut. And we have a lampshade. So the next thing is to grab this one, unscrew the top of that. This is going to go right here on top. And underneath, you're going to feed this through and screw it in. So it looks like that. And we're going to come down. We're going to take a look at it from this angle. So you have these little things right here that will probably eventually fall down. Keep them up for the time being because those go on after we connect the next piece. Get up there. And this is the next piece. This is where you pop your light bulb in. So we're going to put it up through the bottom and these two metal holder things right here are for these two metal rods. You're going to squeeze them together at the bottom right there. You're going to squeeze them in and then you're going to set them on the inside of these. So you've already got one placed in here and then you just squeeze this other one in and make sure it's placed in there. And there you have it. That is the top portion of it. Now that that's been placed, what we need to do is pull this cord because this is the cord and this is the actual metal threaded piece, that threaded piece needs to go inside here. So we got to pull the cord through by pulling it this end so it shortens the cord all the way to the end and then just thread it in. And next I'm going to put the glass with the hole onto the top and line up the holes. So next what we're going to do is at the bottom of the lampshade down the pole portion you're going to have a bunch of different stuff down here. You're going to have the wing nut, loosen it up so you can move it down. There's going to be the wing nut, this metal washer, and this smaller plastic one. And then there's going to be three of these down here separate from this large washer and also the bottom piece of that pole. We're going to keep both of those up here. And these three are going to go down towards the bottom and uh, be th actually fed through that hole. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to pick this up and move it over here. And we're going to start with the end plug. And we're going to feed it through the hole. And we're going to go down. We're going to feed the whole thing down. We're going to feed all of these pieces through until we reach here. All right, just like you can see, I got everything fed through, all three pieces down there. They do fit, and all the way up, and I don't have anything tightened up yet. I just have this sitting on here. So that's all the pieces that need to be up there. Now that everything's been fed through, get all of those pieces and shimmy them back up the wire onto the bottom, and all you need to do is get that wing nut onto the bottom threaded portion right here and tighten it up. So here's the wing nut. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not super tight. Uh, you might break the glass if you really crank it on too tight, but you want it on tight enough to where you can, with a little bit of effort, you can move around the top shade just in case you want to move it around. But now that that is nice and tight, cord goes out the back. Now we have a completed table. 
And here's one that I already have set up. The light on. With all of my crap piled on there just because I don't have two yet. But uh, that's how it looks, so good luck.